Hello everyone, now let us discuss about new dementia codes 2002-3. Now coming to the guideline regarding the dementia, which is newly added. The IC10CM classifies dementia into categories F01, F02 and F03 on the basis of etiology and newly added is the severity, unspecified severity, mild severity, moderate or severe. Selection of the appropriate severity level requires the provider's clinical judgment and code should be assigned only on the basis of provider's documentation. If the documentation does not provide information about the severity of the dementia, assign the appropriate code for unspecified severity. This is important point. If the documentation does not provide the information about the severity of the dementia, assign the appropriate code for unspecified severity. Second case, if the page, this is for inpatient guideline. If a patient is admitted to an inpatient acute care hospital or other inpatient facility setting with dementia at one severity level and it progresses to a higher severity level, then assign one code for the highest severity level reported during the stay. In 2023 ICD-10 CM, dementia codes are newly added. The newly added dementia codes, they specify the severity of dementia. It is categorized into unspecified, mild, moderate and severe. There are different codes for different types of unspecified dementia, but there is a similarity regarding the mild, moderate and severe dementia. They are indicated by fourth character A, B and C. Whichever type it might be, mild dementia is indicated by fourth character A. Moderate dementia is indicated by fourth character B. Whereas severe dementia is indicated by fourth character C. For example, Avas. Vascular dementia mild is indicated by F02 dot A, fourth character A. Whereas unspecified dementia mild is indicated by F03 dot A. So it, mild severity is indicated by fourth character A, moderate severity is indicated by fourth character B and severe is indicated by fourth character C. As we have discussed earlier, the dementia new codes are based upon the severity. Here we will be discussing about the mild, moderate and severe dementia codes. There are unspecified dementia codes also which you can find in the respective subcategory. Now, dementia is mainly categorized into three types. Vascular dementia, dementia in other diseases classified elsewhere and unspecified dementia. Vascular dementia is indicated by the code category F01. Whereas dementia in other diseases classified elsewhere is indicated by the category F02. And unspecified dementia is indicated by the category F03. Now coming to codes regarding vascular dementia of mild severity. It is given by the subcategory F01.A. This is further expandable. Whereas moderate vascular dementia is given by the subcategory F01.B. This is also further expandable. And severe vascular dementia is given by the subcategory F03.C. This is also further expandable. Similarly, mild dementia in other diseases classified elsewhere is given by the subcategory F02.A. This is also further expandable. All the codes are further expandable. And moderate dementia in other diseases classified elsewhere is given by the subcategory F02.B. Moderate is indicated by fourth character B. Whereas severe is indicated by fourth character C. So severe dementia in other diseases classified elsewhere is indicated by F02.C. This is also further expandable. Now finally coming to unspecified dementia. Mild unspecified dementia is given by the category, subcategory F03.A. Whereas moderate is indicated by moderate unspecified dementia is indicated by F03.B. 
and severe unspecified dementia is indicated by F03.C. These are the subcategories of new codes. And all the codes are further expandable. Now coming to vascular dementia which is indicated by the subcategory F01. And as we have discussed earlier, the codes are based on the severity and they are categorized into unspecified, mild, moderate and severe. Vascular dementia unspecified is given by the subcategory F01.5. This is further expandable. Vascular dementia mild is given by the subcategory F01.8. Vascular dementia moderate is given by the subcategory F01.B. And vascular dementia severe is given by the subcategory F01.C. Now coming to the 5th and 6th characters in the new codes of vascular dementia. The 5th and 6th characters are almost similar provided the 4th character is indicated by the stage. Now let us discuss the fifth character specifically in vascular dementia which is given by the series F01. So fifth character 0 indicates without behavioral disturbances, psychotic disturbances, mood disturbances or anxiety. That is vascular dementia, unspecified severity without any disturbances is given by the final code F01.50. Here the fifth character 0. 0 indicates without any disturbances. Fifth character 0. Now coming to 1. Fifth character 1 indicates with behavioral disturbances. This is the only case where sixth character is applicable in the dementia codes. It is again categorized into two types. Sixth character 1 indicates with agitation. Whereas sixth character 8 indicates with other behavioral disturbances. It can be any type of dementia with any severity. The sixth character 8 indicates with other disturbances. And sixth character 1 indicates with agitation. This comes under with the behavioral disturbances which is given by the fifth character 1. Now the fifth character 2 in any type of dementia. The fifth character 2 indicates with the psychotic disturbances. Whereas the fifth character 3 indicates with mood disturbances. Here we are taking the example of vascular dementia. The fifth character 3 in any type of dementia, it indicates with mood disturbances. Fifth character 2 indicates with psychotic disturbances. Fifth character 1 indicates with behavioral disturbances. And fifth character 4 indicates with anxiety. And there is only one instance where sixth character is available that is with behavioral disturbances. Here the sixth character 1 indicates with agitation and sixth character 8 indicates with other behavioral disturbances. Here you can see the entire set of codes for vascular dementia. As we have discussed earlier, you need to have little focus on what is the fourth character, what is the fifth character and what is the sixth character. If you have this basic idea, then code assignment is very easy. Fourth character A indicates mild. Fourth character B indicates moderate. Fourth character C indicates severe that we have discussed. And fifth character 0 in all these cases. Fifth character 0 indicates without any disturbances. So F01.50 is unspecified vascular dementia without any disturbances. Whereas F01.A0 is mild vascular dementia without any disturbances. F01.B0 is mild vascular dementia without, sorry, moderate vascular dementia without any disturbances. F01.C0 is severe vascular dementia without any disturbances. Whereas F01.51, fifth character 1 indicates with the behavioral disturbances. And in this, this instance, sixth character is also available. Sixth character 1 indicates with agitation. So, unspecified vascular dementia, unspecified severity with agitation is given by F01.511. Whereas, mild vascular dementia with agitation is given by the code AF01.A11. Moderate vascular dementia 
with agitation is given by the code F01 dot B11. Severe vascular dementia with agitation is given by the code F01 dot C11. Now, sixth character 8 indicates with other behavioral disturbances. So, F01.518 indicates vascular dementia, unspecified severity with other behavioral disturbances. F01.A18 indicates mild vascular dementia with other behavioral disturbances. F01.B18 indicates moderate vascular dementia with other behavioral disturbances. F01.C18 indicates severe vascular dementia with other behavioral disturbances. And now coming to fifth character 2. Fifth character 2 indicates with psychotic disturbances. So vascular dementia, unspecified severity with psychotic disturbances is given by the code F01.52. Mild vascular dementia with psychotic disturbances is given by the code F01.82. Moderate vascular dementia with psychotic disturbances is given by the code F01.B2. And severe vascular dementia with psychotic disturbances is given by the code F01.C2. Now coming to fifth character 3. Fifth character 3 indicates mood disturbances in all these cases. Unspecified dementia with mood, unspecified vascular dementia with mood disturbances is given by F01.53. Mild vascular dementia with mood disturbances is given by the code F01.83. Moderate vascular dementia with the mood disturbances is given by the code F01.B3. And severe vascular dementia with mood disturbances is given by the code F01.C3. Now, fifth character 4 indicates anxiety. 1 indicates behavioral disturbances, 2 indicates psychotic disturbances, 3 indicates mood disturbances and 4 indicates anxiety. So, these are the various codes for unspecified, mild, moderate and severe vascular dementia with the anxiety. And similarly, in the next two slides, we have entire code set for dementia classified in diseases elsewhere and unspecified dementia. Here you can see dementia in other diseases classified elsewhere. Here also same logic is applicable. You can refer the codes. Fifth character 0 indicates without any disturbances. Fourth character A indicates mild. Fourth character B indicates moderate. Fourth character C indicates severe. And fifth character 1 indicates with behavioral disturbances. Sixth character 1 indicates with agitation. Sixth character 8 indicates with other behavioral disturbances. And fifth character 2 indicates with psychotic disturbances. 3 indicates with mood disturbances. 4 indicates with anxiety. This is the entire set of codes set for dementia in other diseases classified elsewhere. And similarly, this is the entire set of codes for unspecified dementia. And their various severity levels. These are the final codes. Here also same. Fifth character 0 indicates without any disturbances. Fourth character A indicates mild, fourth character B indicates moderate and fourth character C indicates severe. Fifth character 1 indicates with the behavioral disturbances. Sixth character 1 indicates with agitation. Sixth character 8 indicates other behavioral disturbances. Fifth character 2 indicates with psychotic disturbances. Fifth character 3 indicates with mood disturbances. And fifth character 4 indicates with anxiety. Now let us see an example. Patient gets admitted with mild unspecified dementia with mood disturbances. During the stay, the symptoms worsen and progresses to moderate stage dementia with mood disturbances. Here the final code should be of higher severity. Unspec uh, mild, mild unspecified dementia is progressing to moderate unspecified dementia. So, the appropriate code is F03.B3. Unspecified dementia, moderate with mood disturbances. This comes under inpatient guidelines. Now, here, please find the appropriate code 
for the following scenarios and comment in the comment box. The first case is vascular dementia, mild severity with psychotic disturbances. The next question is patient presence with neurocognitive disorder due to vitamin B12 deficiency. Third case, unspecified dementia, moderate severity with anxiety. Next is unspecified dementia, unspecified severity with other behavioral disturbances. And finally, unspecified dementia, severe with more disturbances. Please give the answers for these five questions. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.